Hello and a very cold welcome to Celtic TV. Now it's a Saturday, it's the international break and it's about 10 o'clock at night so you might be wondering what on earth all of these people and Celtic TV are doing here at Celtic Park. Well, I can tell you. Celtic FC Foundation have organised a sleep out and this is to raise awareness and money for their Christmas appeal. So, there's about 70 people sleeping here at Paradise under the stars. It's actually not a very starry night, but it's cold and it's wet. And those conditions are obviously what a lot of people experience on a daily, a weekly and nightly basis. So we're here to go out and about this evening and through the night to talk to some of the people that have braved the conditions and volunteered for Celtic FC Foundation. There's somewhere between 50 and 250 millimetres of rain due in between now and 5 o'clock Sunday morning, so decent. And you're sleeping out in that? Yeah, and you are as well, So <laughs> and so is everybody else that you see in this shot. We're trying to help 200 local families who've got children. We're trying to help 10 or 11 charities who look after people who lead chaotic lives. So within that group are refugees and women and children in, in refuge, but a lot of homeless charities. Uh, and this is their life, you know. And at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll come back into this room, we'll have breakfast, we'll get in our cars, we'll go home, and we'll get showered and go to sleep for a few hours. And, and that's not how it'll be for a, a lot of people who are rough sleepers. We try and get in clothing, sleeping bags, etc. And we usually give them out to uh, other centres like the Wayside Club, Glasgow City Mission, etc. Uh, who are also beneficiaries of the foundation. We, we get the, that stuff from the generosity of the Glasgow public. And I have to say the Glasgow public are brilliant. I would say it's typically Celtic. Everybody wants to help. And that's the kind of nature of the club. The ethos of the club is to help somebody else. And that's exactly what you do, Dermot, so a big well done from all of us here. Thank you very much. Someone who's also braving the conditions tonight, you might recognise, it's Paul the Tim. Hello. Hiya. Uh, how are you? Are you right? I'm good, I'm good. How are you feeling? Cold? I'm cold, it's cold tonight, wet as well. What have you said to people? What have your friends said when they, you told them that you were sleeping out here tonight? <laughs> the thought was mad. <laughs> the thought was mad, but I'm doing it for a good cause. Without relations, without family, without friends, without looking after one another, we are nothing. We're individualistic. What you're doing is, for me, it's brave, unbelievable. You, you're thinking, you use your passion and your thoughts about other people. And I just want to thank you for what you're doing, what you're giving. I know you're raising money for this. And I will give you a thousand pounds as well for my... Ronnie's words, this is a unique football club, it's a special club, it's magical and it's magical because of people like yourselves. Um, we were formed for the best of reasons and thankfully today we do more for our charities, our community through a foundation we've ever done and it's down to you guys. So thank you very much, um, again I hope you survive the night, um, it's an unbelievable sacrifice you're making here. And like Ronnie, I'm happy to donate a thousand pounds towards it as well. How are you feeling? You're dressed for the part. Look at these, Celtic onesies. Yeah, of course. You've got to dress for the occasion, right? So why not do it still? It's a bit different to what you'd usually be doing on a Saturday night, isn't it? Yeah, well that's true. I'd probably normally have a wee takeaway, cuddled up on the couch, watching some Saturday night TV. So yeah, it's a bit different, but no, we're... I was going to say looking forward to it. Obviously there's a very serious message as to why we're here tonight. How did you get involved with this event? Um, I've done previous uh, things for the Celtic Foundation. I'd climbed Nevis and recently done a skydive. So when I heard of this, I thought it would be the Christmas appeal and for helping homeless charities and different things. For this time of year, I thought it really kind of hit home and I definitely wanted to give a wee bit back. So, yeah, brilliant. And what about yourself? Yeah, just the same as Lindsay's touched on there. It's 
it's the time of year, you know, it's, the weather's not the greatest and people are sleeping rough, so obviously you want to help people as best you can. And Peter hit the message spot on earlier on when he came over. It's, it's a time of year where everyone pulls together and this club is a family club, so everyone's got to cuddle together. It makes you quite proud actually to be associated with a club like Celtic. It's, uh, it's quite unique and things like this demonstrate that time and again, so uh, it's fantastic. Obviously this is just a one-off for us, we're here for a night and one night only, but it's reality for a lot of people, yeah. it's pretty sad isn't it? Ah, it's, a sad, uh, it's a sad indictment on our society, that uh, we're here and we're cold for one evening and these guys are lying in pouring rain, we've got the comfort of sitting in Celtic Park, these guys have been abused by people on Friday, Saturday nights throughout the week. It's great giving people money and a wee bit of injection and helping them over Christmas time, but people aren't just homeless at Christmas, they're poor, they're hungry, they're cold throughout the course of the year. They need assistance, but ultimately they, uh, they need support, and that comes from society. Well, it was a long night here at Paradise, as you can probably tell. A long and very cold night, but we've survived and we've made our way to the Jockstein Lounge here at Celtic Park for some breakfast. So all of the volunteers are enjoying a nice cup of tea and a nice cup of coffee and a breakfast. And as enjoyable as that is, our thoughts are, of course, with everyone that is still outside this morning in the cold and will be this evening and the next evening and the foreseeable future. Now, in front of me, you can see that there's some sleeping bags. These have all been donated to the Invisibles, which is a great gesture from the guys that have already given up their time and efforts to be here today and last night. Now, unsurprisingly, not many people want to appear on camera this morning, and I don't blame them, but we can now take a quick look back at what was a fantastic event here at Paradise with the Celtic family. Hail, hail. <laughs> 